I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, this is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Got a fun review on the Mini Gumo, if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, and it's uh, my thoughts on it and how it plays. Before we get in, like, subscribe, all button below. Appreciate all the support of the channel. Appreciate you guys building a great community, building a uh, wholesome place to really just make friends, have fun, learn something at the same time, and just having a blast doing it. So let's get right to it. The Mini Gumo. This is the new... Um, I guess it was available for exchange. I guess it's just like these quick events that they, I don't know if they'd want to do a fear of missing out kind of situation here, but uh, it is available. It was, I'm not sure if it's still there for the exchange. Actually, it might be. I checked this morning uh, about the exchange. You can actually exchange uh, this ship for uh, previous ships that you've had. Let me take a look at it right here. I believe it's in the armory. Uh, click on the armory. Let's see here. Take a look at it. And here we go. Yeah. Yeah. You can still do it. Seven more days for you guys to do it. Basically come down here. Uh, I always go by ship of tame and you click on mini gumo. It costs about 19,000 doubloons. And then you select a ship that uh, matches it. If, but remember when you do exchange for it, first of all, you're getting a lower pr trade in price. And then once you trade in a, a ship, you're not going to get this ship back anymore and you can't do anything about it. Uh, you have to do it at your own will. So that, I, I leave that up to you guys. Um, I probably had to spend a little bit more uh, doubloons to exchange for something like the, I think I traded the Max Elman because I don't play carriers anymore. I think they're boring and uh, everybody's got toxic about it. So I exchanged the Max Elman. I don't really play it anymore. It basically gives you the opportunity to, to exchange a ship you don't really use anymore for a ship that you want to try out and take a look at. But um, TLDR, uh, this, this mini Gomo is kind of a boring play style in my personal opinion. It, I'm, I'm a DD main, obviously, but really this ship doesn't really offer much for me other than it's just a stealthy torpedo boat and essentially it's an up tiered asashio if you want to take a look at that uh before we go dip, deep dive into the ship here's asashio look it looks exactly the same honestly it's almost like they didn't really try you can tell because look at these uh little uh torpedo blocks here so i'll switch back to the uh the mini gumo you can take a look at it look at the uh, yep the box doesn't change <laughs> so really it's an up tiered asashio well what's the asashio asashio is a tier eight um, Japanese uh, deep water torpedo boat. Uh, you can see that the uh, it just shoots uh, deep water torpedoes right here. Deep water torpedo. Yep, 112 second ra uh, reload time, 20 kilometer range, 70 knots, 20,967. Now notice when I select Minigumo, look what switches here. Now they're regular torpedoes. 20,967 damage, only go 15, a little faster reload, 63 knots. Uh, it has the option of selecting these alternative torpedoes, which are kind of like F3s, but even shorter range, only 6.5 kilometers. So you're really diving in there really, really close. 85 knots, though, do a little bit more damage and 1.5 kilometer detection range. So you're about a, a few seconds uh, less, maybe a second less uh, reaction time. So, uh, yeah, so let's take a look at the uh, Asashio again. Really, what is it? Uh, that tier 8 kind of Japanese stealthy gun uh, i mean sorry stealthy torpedo boat that is guns are terrible 127 millimeter guns at 7.1 second reload they go come out of the gun fast 915 meters per second 21 millimeter pen and uh seven percent uh or nine percent of fire damage okay so now you know what the sashi is what is the mini gumo well it's an up tier tier nine version of it uh armor layout cheap survivability very low that's the way i built for it uh the main battery 6.3 second reload time. Terrible, terrible. But I mean, when you need it, you're going to see some of the videos. I, I could use it to just blast a really almost dying destroyer, like literally holding together by duct tape and bubble gum. Uh, again, the same kind of guns of the Asashio, 9 or 15 meters per second, 21 mil pin, 9% fire chance. Again, it's just there as a last resort. Hey, fend off the attacking bear kind of thing. But really the bread and butter of this thing is the torpedoes. As you can see, these are the Type 93 and Type F3 if you want to switch between them. Uh, the torpedoes, I don't know, there's 70, I, I got it down to 76 second reload for the commander build. I did 15 kilometers range, 63 knots. So the detectability is 1.7 kilometers. So you're getting about a six to seven. It's, you're still getting a, a decent amount of heads up, but these things are coming. I, I don't know. I, I've i tried. It really is a boring gameplay style where you're running around stealthily trying to torpedo things. But people with hydro and everything up today. Uh, you can pretty much see these things coming from a mile away reaction time. Even the F3 mod torpedoes is 6.5 kilometer range, 85 knots. You got to sneak up on somebody. I mean, the concealment on this thing is what sells it. 5.4 kilometer. The only other, I guess you could say, thing that can accomplish this is kind of like that Shimakaze Jaeger kind of play style where that's the only thing close that comes to, to play against this thing. But 5.4, I mean, it's cool. 
But with the age of radar and CVs and everything, I was attacked by uh, a carrier in one of the games. Uh, I'll play I'll play it for you to show you. That. It's just with a carrier around, it's annoying. And there's nothing you can do about it other than pop smoke. This thing is equipped with smoke and the engine boost. Engine boost is kind of weak. 8%, 2 minutes. Yeah, it, it gives you about 2 extra knots. whoop de doo Speed flag on. And then I even did the... Um, the uh, swift and silent sacrificing adrenaline rush. I think, knowing what I know now, I, I mean, you're you're undetected the whole time. I figure that swift and silent is what you want. You want to build this thing for torpedoes because that's all you really can do. But I found out, you know, even with swift and silent, I get the main battery load goes down to five percent, but the ship speed's eight percent. So I get I get an extra two knots. Is that two knots actually worth it? I don't know. For adrenaline rush to have fast reloading torpedoes. I don't know. You be the, you be the judge, because I was running around the map undetected ninety percent of the time without carriers or subs or anything, and I really, uh, I was just getting an extra two two knots out of the thing. Or would you rather have fast reload? Because I figure since I'm undetected the whole time, I'm not going to even be taking much damage. So again, I kind of went back and forth. I, I find that really is the extra few few seconds of reload time on the torpedoes really worth it, or would I rather run around the map? uh faster uh, so you can see the maximum i got this thing up to with engine boost was about 42 ish knots so with engine boost on it got up to 40 42 knots ish i i would say uh it's okay i mean again i was just running around the map really really fast so how do i play this thing uh you're seeing the gameplay video really just riding around being unconcealed undetected uh concealed the whole time running around tw twerping from long distance range and i'm just waiting for the torpedoes to come off a 76 second reload time and that's it. Uh, and we'll take a look at the video and my thoughts on it and how the play style is. But and uh, if you want to just uh, TLDR, this set the, now overall, this thing is a boring torpedo boat. It's just running around. Don't do any gunboating. You just spot, you torp, you cap. And that's it. It's kind of that play style. And you can see that my commander build, even with 20 points, is all I really could build for it. What am I going to do with extra two points? It's whatever you want on the top row here. I tried to get this adrenaline launch, but there's not enough points uh, to get it going. So let's take a look at the game video and see how we play it. All right, team, this is the Minigumo here. And forgive me, this is just sped up a little faster because it's a lot of sailing around being a concealed destroyer. And you can see this is just a display of being spotted by a carrier the whole time. CVs are cancer, and it really just it, it just degrades the nature of gameplay. I mean, the carrier is the anti-ship of games, and this is a World of Warship game. You wouldn't think you would introduce the vaccine or cancer to a, I don't know, you want to, you, you look at it however you want it, because the carry was the solution to eliminate uh, ships in the ocean. So, yeah, this is just me running around, playing around, torping the sea. I'm just, you know, getting shot out by the carrier the whole time, being chased, being chased. And again, don't build this thing for any aircraft. It only gets 10 damage per any aircraft hit, continuous damage. 10, that is 10 per second. That's terrible, right? With a, a, a carrier or like an FDR. 10 hit points off no way so you can see i'm just sailing around trying to avoid everything i'm just a, really a, a cap uh, capping dd and destroyer as soon as i see a carrier come in all i can do is pop smoke wait till it flies over leave cap the spot do my job as a good destroyer player and, and that's pretty much it i'm just sailing around capping points you can see right here it's really difficult to do anything you can't use the guns can't use the aa all i got this is the torpedoes really run away and then i'm spotted by the carrier perma spot so there's the cancer right there really all i found really that was fun about this ship was really just uh, capping the spot like Charlie, I outspot almost everything. And then I just trying to find an opportune moment to go and switch these F3 torpedoes. You know, take a look at the, uh, the chat right here. Yamato hiding behind a rock. Great team. <laughs> it was kind of funny. It's like, well, let's take a look at this. If he's going to hide behind a rock, let's see if we can make the best of it and use the mini gumo and uh, kind of uh, go Blitzkrieg on this thing and, and see if we can do the F3 torpedoes. Now, they're only six and a half range. So you got to look at, he's only three. Okay, this is good. That means that six, I'm within six and a half, so this is going to work out fine. And let's see how much damage I can absorb uh, just by running into the Yamato here. And notice his guns are really, really slow, although he does have secondary, so those do kind of hurt a little bit. So right now, I'm using my speed. I got speed boost on. I can only get 32 in the turn and really, really, really slow. Uh, but these things come out at 85 knots, so pretty darn quick. Look at that. It's almost like Holland torpedoes right there. And let's see how much we do. Pop smoke, go undetected, and boom, he goes down. <laughs> Yamato, Yamato's probably rethinking that one. He was saying, hey, it's working to camp. Uh, well, you got to be careful about these sneaky little torpedo boats that are, are uh, 5.4 concealment that run around so we are taking significant damage there and then here's another match uh going against a lot of minigumos i've seen a lot of them uh coming out today and you're gonna see me running into a bunch of them and it's really having this little one-on-one -on -one duel with another minigumo it's pretty darn interesting because that's all we can do we outspot each other oh we i'm sorry we spot each other at the same time as because there's nothing else that can spot us so 
Uh, so right there in Minigomo, yep, we get to spot each other at the same time. Look at how slow the gun traverse is, and very, very bad aim for me, and the dispersions is eh. So I basically pop smoke, he pops smoke. The gun traverse is very, very slow, so if you are turning away, it is going to take an eternity to uh, turn these guns and get them, because I didn't build for it, I just built for torpedoes. And pretty much it's just this duel back and forth of just smoking, getting undetected, and running away, And because there's really nothing I can do. And I'm just uh, waiting for the next torp reload. And that's kind of the gameplay style there. And uh, really, me and this other Minigumo are just doing this like ballet dance of going back and forth, back and forth, this loitering in the area, doing what a good destroyer player should be doing, spotting, capping, spotting other destroyers. And here it is. Here's another moment right here. He's doing a gun, trying to push in. I got the back two turrets, which are nice. Again, taking a look at that gun trajectory and the, the traverse, the really slow. Good shell velocity. I mean, 910, like we talked about, meters per sec coming out of the barrel. And and they are, uh, you know, effective when they hit and connect with slow reload time. They get something, 1,400 damage. I, ooh, I got a torpedo hit there. And then we're going to just uh, run away and kind of do this ballet exchange back and forth. Hey, 2,100 damage. We get two of them connected and starting a fire. He launched his torpedoes. I'm launching my torpedoes. And this is kind of that ballet going back and forth. Again, these torpedoes do go out to 15 kilometers, so they are... Uh, decent uh, for range, but you can, again, with the nature of Hydro and other DDs and everything spotting out there, it's really difficult to land anything because people do see them. They're pretty much effective against kind of camping, uh, I would say, cruisers or battleships and so forth. And again, we're getting spotted again, doing that ballet, and we're running away because we cannot absorb damage. Remember, we only have 18,000 health, and I'm really just going back and forth, coming back to the outer rim of the cap and using the gearing here. Now, we do we can provide smoke for some of our other players here, but really I save the smoke for me just out of get out of jail free card, just like that mini is doing right there. He's smoking at the same time himself, but other people. And uh, maybe we'll take a look at uh, trying to damage this Yoda, Yodo here. Again, we get uh, spotted again by the y Yuma Go y uh, mini Gumo. And then we're going to pop the, the smoke because there's nothing more I can do other than go undetected. And I'm not going to do an exchange gun battle one on one. We're really just going to take this opportunity. He got, got out of his smoke. He fired, which is bad on him because now he's spotted for 20 seconds uh, until it goes cool down uh, from his uh, gunfire. And we're going to see if we can take as much damage as we can. Again, you notice the gun trajectory of the, uh, of the guns and the arcs. They're decent for the uh, what they need to do. Uh, but really, it's it's... I don't know. It's really random. It's RNG based. Hey, do I get this guy? Do I hit him? Uh, the guns are slow reloading. Like I said, trajectory, like I said, is okay. But man, it is tough to do anything with these guns. You just got to farm from smoke and it's long, long, long reload. And, and now we can see if we can take out this Yodo. My, again, my torpedoes are on re cooldown. 76 seconds without an adrenaline rush. You notice I'm almost dead. So maybe I should have taken a adrenaline rush in these situations right here. Would have had a fast reload time. So maybe I'll just respec it for that. But outside of this, I don't know if I really want to spend the money or the, you know, um, the, the hit, the, um, what is it called? Commander points just to respec this thing because I really don't see any interesting fun in this thing. It seems kind of like a boring. Hey, I'm running around. I'm just going to be the stealthy little ninja thing that's just going to run around torp and uh, wait for the next reload of my torpedoes. So. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, it's up to you guys. If you guys like this play style, let me know. I don't feel like I'm that effective. Ooh, almost got hit there. Uh, I don't know if I'm really that effective uh, as this torpedo boat player because I'm not doing anything other than just waiting for this next torpedo hit, and it's doing it every 76 seconds-ish, a uh, minute to 76 seconds, so I get one torpedo hit. Now, I mean, we're doing decent damage. But I don't feel like I'm effective. I mean, if I was in a gunboat right now, I'd be mowing down everybody right now. I'd be taking out the mini Guma. I'd be taking out their battleships, taking out their cruisers. Um, and uh, don't get me started on the having a druid. I would just be murdering all these broadside cruisers and battleships, and uh, it would just be fun and effective. And there we go. We get another torpedo, 11,407. Yeah, it's okay. Again, for what it's worth, I don't know. But we're going to see if we can get another shot on uh, this uh, Montana here. Notice that it's just really camping battleships and sitting still is what I can hit. Oh, he gets eliminated by the gearing. I think the gearing is more effective, honestly. That's my perspective. If you want to be a torpedo boat, be a, a gearing and maybe a Shimikaze player if you want to play like that. That's fine. I like the gearing better because it's got guns. It's got uh, the nice smoke and the speed and uh, the, the torpedoes are hit with a uh, like a Mack truck. So pretty good. Uh, for the mini Gilmo, would I recommend it? Me, personally, no. I, I wouldn't want to. If this is your play style, yes. But for me, no, I wouldn't recommend. I wouldn't want to spend money or anything on this if you don't have to because it's not a really effective play style, in my personal opinion. If you like the stealth torp gunboating, then this is the ship for you because it's got the one of the best concealments in the game. And that's pretty much it. 
So, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to charge right in there. I think I can do the... Oh, here we go. We're going to get a one-on-one -on -one gun battle duel. It's just me and the mini going and Al. Who can outlast the other? I should have got that first shot in and killed that guy. I get him, but he gets a nice shot on me and takes me out all in one fell swoop. And that's that exchange right there. So, bottom line, overall... This is that uh, up-tiered Asashio Ninja Stealth Torping Gunboat with a little bit of decent speed and a good reload on torpedoes. Torpedoes are eh, but it does have those F3 that go uh, 85 knots at 6.5 kilometers. So, uh, again, it is up to you guys. If you want to pick this ship and play, let me know in the comments below how do you guys use it and employ it. But overall, I wouldn't want to... I'm probably not going to play any more of this ship. It's fun. It was cool to take a look at. Maybe if I'm bored and lazy that day just to sail around and have fun and just be lazy and sail around and enjoy the map, uh, that's the mini gomo for you in a nutshell. But as always, thank you guys for supporting the channel. Like, subscribe, blah, blah, below. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know your thoughts below in the comments. Uh, and uh, as always, you guys, you guys stay safe out there. And if you see me, say hi. And as always, take care. Cheers.